comes close to a Brittany home. As breathtaking as the world's most stunning destinations. As exquisite as it is luxurious. At the heart of a magnificent hub, a Brittany home is among the finest in the Philippines. No other home is as exceptional. No investment as rare. Brittany.
Sally. What? The sunrise. Terrific. Well, say something right here. You all might, this might make you all think. Life is not really long. Let's say the average person 30 years old. How much traveling have you done in 30 years? Travel. Seriously? Are you crazy? 2020 indeed has been tough. Restrictions, closed borders, lockdowns. But you still kept going. With banana bread recipes, new hobbies, Netflix marathons, you name it. Hats off to all of you. After this roller coaster year, you definitely deserve a 2021 getaway getaway to look forward to. But travel in times like these? Is it even possible? Well, saving now and traveling later is. And what if Corona forces me to change my plans? No worries, we're flexible. But what if I want to travel in my own safe bubble? Cool with us, we'll set you up on a private tour. Your health and safety is our top priority. All right, but where to? With thousands of safe travel destinations and endless life-enriching experiences, we've got you covered. Travel. You deserve it. Tour Radar. Booking tours made easy. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our hosts this afternoon, Trisha Grafaldeo, Christelle Masilungan, and Lian Gamez. Thank you for that introduction. We would like to greet everyone a lovely Saturday afternoon. Welcome to the golden moment, traveling and living in your luxury. Do right, Trish. We hope that you are having a good time and we are more than excited to share with you what we have in store for today. So let's make this afternoon not just wonderful, but also a productive and fruitful one. Speaking of wonderful, Christelle, Burman's just... Yes, Vermont's just started and Christmas season is fast approaching. And you know, I remember before we used to plan our itineraries in our next holiday vacation as early as now. 
but because of everything that is happening in the world right now, we can't freely travel as much as we did before. And as much as you want to, how about you, Trish? I also relate to that, Crystal. We need to strictly follow health protocols so we can ensure our health and well-being during these trying times. But that doesn't mean we can plan and write our travel wish list, right? Yes, exactly. For now, we can only hope that this pandemic will end soon so we can meet all our loved ones again and experience golden moments anywhere in the world. But for the meantime, let us just appreciate spending moments with our family because family is our true luxuries at home. Yes, and while the world awaits for that return of safe travel and unrestricted leisure, our yearning for the world's most scenic and most breathtaking views remain. So moving forward, this webinar will teach and refresh us on traveling and capturing our golden moments. Because as always said, moments and memories are the best collections to have, especially in times like this, that we need to be reminded of the simple up to the grandest luxuries of life, right? That's right, Lee. That is why we should not just indulge ourselves in creating and finding our golden moments, but also in learning about designing and capturing those. So without further ado, our speaker today is a filmmaker and a photographer specializing in travel-oriented content. He works as a cameraman and videographer traveling around the Philippines and the world. Originally trained and working in film and commercial production, he worked as a director before branching out into new directions as his travels took him around the world beginning 2014. Since then, the work he has produced from travel and expanding his practice have brought multiple international awards and recognition for both his photography and video work. Currently, he is pursuing freelance directing and camera work while developing travel and other content for his YouTube channel. He is also an up-and-coming online course instructor. His first course amassing over 2,000 students in just over a month and now with almost 3,000 students from all over the world. He is based in Metro Manila, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker, Mr. Aaron Palabiat. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today. So uh, I can't wait to share with you. So let me start my presentation. Thank you very much, everybody. Super appreciate your time here. All right, here we go. So my presentation today is named after the whole theme of uh, the entire webinar, which is the golden moment, designing and capturing luxurious travel experiences. And I love how the ladies frame this whole thing, the videos they showed before, because I think it really puts us in the right mood, the right mindset. Because right now, for so many of us, and for so many of us watching here, there's this huge kind of hole in our lives because we've lost so much of travel. We've lost so many of the things that defined especially what luxury and enjoyment is for us. And so I think the best place to start would be to redefine what luxury is. But first of all, <laughs> just so uh, everybody uh, gets to know me a little bit and my work, this is the channel trailer to my YouTube channel where you can get to know, I guess, what I'm all about. So this is me. I'm Aaron Palabiab, and I've been a filmmaker and photographer for more than 10 years. I travel in pursuit of the amazing, unique, and meaningful, sharing what I see and learn, trying to make beautiful things along the way. I've experienced at home in the Philippines and around the world, tutorials on photography and video, and my thoughts on life as an emerging artist. I hope you'll find something here that lights a fire to explore and care more because the world will be better for it. So check out my playlist below to see my films, vlogs, and tutorials. And don't be afraid to leave a comment and start a conversation if anything really speaks to you. So if that sounds good, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I look forward to seeing you here.
Yeah, so that's me. So again, so as I was saying, this is a time I think it's really important to reconnect with maybe what luxury really means. And for this, I think there's a quote I love from Tim Ferriss, the famous author of the book, The 4-Hour Workweek. So just from the title of the book, you know that he's somebody who's really thought about, he's the pioneer of what I, uh, he calls lifestyle design which is, um, I guess, purposefully building your life to allow you to really pursue what you love. And he says that to him, luxury is feeling unrushed. It is designing a life that allows you to do what you want with high leverage, with many options, all while feeling unrushed. I guess another way to put this would be like, uh, being wealthy is not just having a lot, but it's also having the time and having the options to be able to pursue things that really matter to you, that you really enjoy. And I guess now more than ever, it's good to reflect on what are the things that can really bring us that special experience and what's the use maybe these days now that we can't travel. Maybe I have all of these nice things. Maybe I have all of these resources at my disposal. But if I can't enjoy it, if I'm always feeling stressed and rushed, then am I really experiencing luxury? Or maybe do I have to think about it in a different way? So on that note, I would say that luxury is not just the ability to have special experiences, which I'm sure so many of you in the audience have access to, but it's also the ability to be fully present in them and not just for yourself, especially with your whole family, with your loved ones. It's the ability to be there, not be worrying about anything else. And so uh, just uh, all the photos here actually are photos from my travel. So if you have any questions about them later on or after the talk, I can talk about that. This photo was taken in Paris. So on that note, I want to give kind of my definition of what I think a golden moment is according to that definition of what luxury, of what a special moment is. Because I think in life, the golden moments are really kind of like the bookmarks of our life. It's what makes life memorable, worth living, something we look back on and brightens our day, even on like the darkest situations. It's being in a moment where you feel fully satisfied and present. Now, whether that's here in Batanes, in this rocky beach, watching this beautiful sunrise, or even something simpler, or maybe just you accomplished something even at work somewhere else, and you feel fully present, that's a golden moment for me. Along with that, it's finding or achieving what you wanted and having it exceed your expectations. That's a golden moment. The moments when you feel like life didn't just give you what you wanted, but somehow gave you so much more where everything feels like a bonus. So those are golden moments. And so, I think travel is really special because travel by default lends itself to experiencing moments like this. You can experience a golden moment anywhere, but travel is special in that it really concentrates the opportunities to have these golden moments. So the question is now, of course, how do we bring more golden moments into our lives, especially during the pandemic? So just speaking from my own experience, uh, no matter where you are, no matter how old you are, whether you have a family, whether you have more time than money or more money than time, I think this applies. To experience golden moments, reconnect with what you enjoy and make a plan to pursue it. And what I mean by that is, you know, many of us, maybe as we grow older, we never think about, we, maybe we lose touch with what we really like. Maybe we get caught up with just, doing what we see other people doing, whether it's our neighbors, our colleagues, people on social media. You know how it works. Somebody does something and you feel like you have to keep up with them. 
But I think to truly experience golden moments, which are more about what you feel inside than what you show other people, then you have to reconnect with what is it you really enjoy, whether it's epic adventures in the middle of the wilderness or just spending beautiful moments with your family, whether it's like here at the beach, this is in San Sebastian, enjoying the sunset. It's good. The first part is to reconnect with what you enjoy and then tell yourself, I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's very simple, but it's also easy to forget. And so step one, this is, this is not really a step-by-step -step process. It's just super simple. Of course, I think, especially now during the pandemic, we want to find inspiration. And we are lucky in this day and age because there is an unlimited well of inspiration on YouTube. I think travel vlogs and travel videos on YouTube are now by far the best way to research on a trip, find inspiration, or just how the vicarious experiences for places that we may never get to see. So this is a shameless plug for my own channel, my own travel. But of course, um, it's just whatever you're interested in, it's just one search away, the most remote countries in the world, the most exotic food, whatever it is you like, all you have to do is type it on YouTube. And I know this because um, during the pandemic, I've watched, I watched so much YouTube with my dad, who's always staying so inspired with, with travel, even though now he's a senior, he can't go out. He stays so inspired watching YouTube and it's really nice to see. So it's something I kind of like recommend for everybody. And also, of course, you can read books, read blogs. Inspiration can come from anywhere. And when it comes to picking a travel destination, the only thing I can say is there is no one reason to go anywhere. As long as you're curious about it, that's a good reason to want to go there. And so this photo, this is here in the Philippines. This is in Marlboro Hills in Batanes. This is also my most liked Instagram photo ever. And you can see why it's just so beautiful. Of course, step two is make plans. Now, that's obvious, but I want to talk about some kind of nuances when it comes to making plans. Uh, in life, as we get busy, I think a lot of us just, when we think about, especially travel dreams, we say, oh, I can't do that. It's too expensive. I don't have time. But I make the suggestion, no matter what situation you're in, start with why not. You want to see the pyramids? Why don't you start with why not? Because it's starting with this attitude that gets our brains rolling to find a way to do it. You only have a week to do it? Fine, let's find a way. But it turns out if you can actually say have a month off, then let's do it. And I think that's such an important first step to take. Now, when it comes to the itinerary and budget, based on my own experience, great travel experiences actually cost so much less than most people think. And this can apply to anything, whether you want to travel on a shoestring or you want to fly in luxury. I mean, there's a big difference between, say, flying first class on Emirates and flying private, where one gives you a superior experience, which is in flying first class, but for so much less money. So again, when you start with why not and you start doing your research, you'll realize that these things are much more doable than you expected. And I know this because I did it. And I'll tell you more about that later. And really, my purpose for this entire talk is not so much to give step-by-step -step instructions, but to kind of inspire you to, to show you that you can do it at whatever level you're capable of, and it's going to be good for you and good for the people you love. And another thing, actually, research shows that planning itself, whether or not, because we don't know when we'll be able to travel again. None of us really know, especially coming from here in the Philippines. But it turns out that research shows that planning itself accounts for a big part of the pleasure of the travel experience. We experience so much of the joy of travel in the anticipation and being excited to do it, especially with our loved ones. So again, this I felt this, but I also really see the example of my dad. Shout out to my dad. Um, my dad is always planning the next. He's always watching vlogs. He's always planning the next trip. And it really keeps spirits high at home even though for now we can't do it and we're just saving money. So I really just want to don't feel discouraged. We will be able to do it again. For now, we stay safe, keep each other safe. But that keep that fire burning. But until then, I want to share with you some travel ideas we can actually pursue once we're out of the MECQs and ECQs. 
pandemic travel ideas. So this is really where I can speak from experience where it is truly the perfect opportunity to discover local hidden gems. I didn't realize how many amazing things there were to visit even close to Manila until I've had to adapt during this pandemic. Um, windowseat.ph actually is one website that's so good at featuring uh, hidden gems you never heard of from bed and breakfasts to restaurants to cafes. So I just kind of keep up with them, keep up with social media. Of course, lots of vloggers now to be able to keep making content. They also try to find these places. So you, if you've never considered really that you could have an international level quality travel experience here, I'm telling you now, now is the best time. Not just stuff that's always been there, but stuff that's also uh, opening now with people investing and developing really beautiful places to go, especially close to Manila and Rizal, Laguna. So these two photos, this is an aerial photo in Zambales near Casa San Miguel. And this beautiful scene, this is actually just in San Pablo, Laguna. We stayed there at the beautiful lakeside mansion and... Yeah, it was so easy to get there and so affordable. Of course, food trips. Uh, this is, of course, a big thing right now. Of course, we can't dine in right now. or We're limited to delivery. But of course, now there's so many restaurants now and cafes especially that offer great alfresco dining with just really quaint and cute experiences. And uh, before the ECQs, MECQs, uh, my girlfriend and I actually had a Sunday habit of going around on my scooter and just trying all of the cute cafes we can find in and around Manila. And you'd be surprised, this, this is kind of the local equivalent of walking around, say, in a new city and just finding, trying to stumble on the nice spots, especially if you have a bicycle or a motorcycle. This is a very enjoyable thing. And it actually surprisingly feels a lot like travel. And of course, fancy staycations. This is the one that I think um, a lot of us know about, especially there are some hotels here by the seaside. There are some nice uh, bed and breakfasts and inns and Airbnbs in the mountains, in Tanay, in Antipolo. So you would be surprised. Just uh, do the research and you can just book it. Just have you and your family there. It can be very safe. Of course, glamping and nature trips. Uh, if you're not too rugged, there are more and more spots now that kind of offer full service glamping where you can enjoy the outdoor experience, but still have almost all the comforts of an actual hotel. And nature is just super, super healthy for you. Get some sunlight, get some grounding, and you can have experiences. In the Philippines is such a beautiful country in terms of nature that in these nature trips, you can have a superior experience to what you can find in Europe and the States even. And of course, the big thing now and what I love personally is motorcycle and road trips and overlanding. I see so many people now investing their money in nice motorcycles that can go long distances and in outfitting, especially their four by fours. You see so many four by fours now with rooftop tents and awnings where people can just basically like live in their cars so they can just have all the comforts of home inside their car. They can go where they want and be just totally socially distanced from everything else for just kind of the, a fraction of a cost or the same cost as an international trip. So this is something I really suggest for a lot of people, especially if you have the luxury of living in places like Laguna and Antipolo. And of course, very relevant uh, to our general topic today is... A lot of people now are realizing that they can move out of Manila. Whether you temporarily stay in places like La Union for a reasonable cost, or you actually buy a home in a beautiful property outside Manila, which uh, I think these people at Brittany know a lot about. Um, a lot of people now are realizing that you can have these quality, luxurious, travel-like experiences in the comfort of your own home, that you don't have to put up with being stuck in a noisy city. And so just there's so many, there's still so many options left for us, even amidst MECQ. And so I hope that we really do take this opportunity to rediscover all of the beautiful things that are near us. And I'll show some examples of, uh, I guess, my experience of finding that I have a, an epic experience without leaving my own country. So from there, I want to move on to, I guess, my real realm of expertise, which is photography and video, capturing golden moments. 
And this really holds a special place in my heart because this isn't just for me, like, you know, a way to pass the time or a way to make some money, but it's really opened up. It's the camera that has opened so many doors for me. And I'll be telling you more of that story. So this photo was taken in Sos del Rey Católico in Aragon, in Spain, uh, 10 p.m. on a chilly night. So documenting our travels well, what does it enable? What does traveling with a camera do? It makes us pay attention to what is beautiful in the moment, no matter what is happening. It is the gateway to experiencing unique and beautiful moments instead of settling for just what everyone else experiences. Again, if you have a camera, I think you'll be much more inclined to wait for a great sunset or wake up for the sunrise or to find a perspective that nobody else has found. And of course, it allows us to have a beautiful memento of our experiences, even the misadventures. I mean, I tell you, once you get through the misadventure and you see the video or the photos you shot, you're just going to remember everything fondly. You're going to laugh that things went sideways and that, oh my gosh, we almost did this. We almost did that. Kind of photography and video allows us to transform even the most negative of travel experiences into a beautiful, unforgettable story. And of course, especially now with YouTube and social media, it allows us to share our stories with others who want to go and need the information or who can only go vicariously, especially now during the pandemic. All right. So let's talk about what I think, in a very general sense, what makes for good photos. So this is a sunrise, oh no, a sunset in Batanes. And here is the Milky Way right before dawn on Mount Pulag, the highest peak in Luzon, that's in Benguet. So I think that a great photo captures a subject in a way that you don't usually see it, whether that's a unique moment with a person, beautiful light, unusual weather, et cetera, et cetera. And from there, you can see why, again, travel is such a great place to pursue great photography and why photography can also lead to great travel experiences in search of these unique moments. So some of the moments I captured in my travels is Mount Pulag again, zero degrees Celsius, all alone, 3 a.m., the brightest Milky Way I've ever seen. This is 12 noon in Iceland, just this beautiful rainbow over this uh, surreal white landscape and that rainbow literally lasted for one minute and disappeared and my camera just allows me to remember it now for good and this is in Zambales it's just flying my drone over a bridge that there's, remember there's so many bri long bridges there that I guess sometimes we ignore when we're just passing through but suddenly you lift your drone up in the air and you treat it to this beautiful sunrise that looks like it's in Iceland And now moving on to video, in my opinion, a great travel video or travel vlog gives us a really distinct sense of place, gives the viewer a concrete sense of what it's like to be there so that they can feel it for themselves. And it showcases the person's, our genuine in the moment reactions to our travel experiences to make the viewer want to experience it too, or to simply satisfy their curiosity about it. I want to show how some of that is in action in this amazing moment. This is an excerpt from a long two-part vlog on my YouTube channel. And this is all about one day when we were rained out while trying to find the sunset in Mountain Province. And we just decided to drive through the fog and wait and see what would happen. So this is what happened. For five days, travel photographer Angelo Mendoza and I went off the beaten path in the Cordilleras in search of unseen views and the most amazing light. Come along and see what we found. No words, bro. And just when we thought the day was over and it was going to be all fog, we're treated to a scene so beautiful, so unique, and so hard to explain that this camera can't even capture it. Wow. It's too much. <laughs> The things we've seen and experienced today, individually, individually, would have made this whole trip worth it. And it's only day two, and there were 
three or four of these moments, and this may be so far the best one of all. <laughs> so grateful. So grateful. Because every time I think it's over, it's not. What we're having right now is a downright spiritual experience. All right. So uh, just, it's so special. I mean, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But it's just so special to be able to relive moments like that and to be able to do it well. I think even if you just do it for yourself, it can really bring a lot into your life. So just a brief overview of what I use. So I use a Sony mirrorless camera with a zoom lens with a mini shotgun mic, which is this thing on top to record good audio. Uh, an iPhone 12, which I recommend. I think uh, the new smartphones are great, especially if you're just starting out. GoPro Hero 7 Black, a light with travel tripod, and a carry-on sized camera backpack that I can take both on rugged adventures and flying wherever. So I just want to briefly go through where you can learn photo and video if I've gotten you interested in it. Uh, YouTube is the best place. Uh, you can learn so much for free on YouTube. Now, if you're looking for more structured classes that have like more of a direction, I can really recommend the website Skillshare. I think it's the best place to go for creative, high quality classes. So for an affordable subscription, you get unlimited classes. Uh, I don't own this website. <laughs> um, just really recommending it. And it's unlimited, a la Netflix. So whether you subscribe for a month or just get a free trial and try it out and, or subscribe for a year, whatever you want to learn for photo and video, you can probably learn it there. Of course, I have a shameless plug. I do have a course there that has almost 3,000 students which is called From Clueless to Content Creator, which I recommend for everybody maybe who wants to start getting in uh, doing video, especially for YouTube. And we can share uh, the free access link after the webinar to everybody that attended. So now I want to kind of share my story so that I guess you can see how many, all of these principles in action in my own life. And I know that um, many, many people are not in the same situation as me but at the same time, I want to assure you that you can have some version of the experiences I've had within your limitations. It's the matter of first just opening your mind to it. And I hope I really do help inspire everybody. So, yeah, a long story short, in 2014, I had the dream of going and seeing Machu Picchu. And uh, it was a good year for my business. And so I realized I can't afford it, and I did it. <laughs> I just set aside uh, a month or two, two months of my life, and I went. I went by myself, joined the group, and it was uh, really, really special. Uh, I actually did a short video about it, kind of my old spoken word poem about solo travel, which I'll share with you now so you can see what my trip was like. Someone once told me that those who would see wonderful things must often be ready to travel alone. So one day, I did, and I saw that I wasn't alone at all. I began to understand why. Some traveled to escape jobs, lost loves, expectations, boredom. Some left out of curiosity. A suspicion that there's more to life, that adventure is out there. They call it wanderlust, 
that itch in your feet, hole in your soul, fire in your heart that burns hotter the longer you sit still. Most set off in search of something. The next thrill. The next Facebook post. The next romance. A higher mountain to climb. A bluer ocean to dive. A wilder story to tell. Many were just trying to find themselves. Some best version of themselves lost amidst the daily crush of normal life and its never-ending some days, but waiting to be discovered in some hidden paradise or concealed in the well-trod dust of some ancient ruin. Maybe to travel alone is to hope that you can emerge transformed when baptized in the unfamiliar, the unexpected, and the unbelievable. But then you learn that you can buy a ticket to the farthest corners of the world, yet never run away from what's inside you. No matter where you go, a change of heart comes slow. In the daily confrontation of your limits and delusions, in the everyday erosion of what you thought you knew, in surprising yourself in the strangest situations, maybe the gift of traveling alone is in discovering, in breathless encounters with the world's greatest wonders, in this constant cycle of self-doubt and exhilaration, in all the joy, the heartache, and everything in between in the everyday amazement of meeting kind souls and kindred spirits in places you never imagined, in learning to be present in every moment despite the coming goodbyes you find that what you were looking for, you've had all along. That wherever you go, you are good enough you are good because you are a fellow traveler's amazing story as they are yours. You belong to the world and the world is in you. All right, so that was uh, my South America trip so obviously the trip itself was really special but the amazing thing that happened afterwards was so I took this photo it was just at a random bus stop it was just at a random bus stop there I love the scene I love the colors and it just so happened that Air France KLM was running a contest where they were looking for an image to put on their luggage tag. So I submitted this, it was for free, whatever. And then I forgot about it. And like a month later, I found out that my photo won the grand global prize uh, for the contest. And that resulted in me winning 100,000 air miles with Air France KLM and over a year of platinum membership, which is the highest, highest super elite status in Air France KLM, um, which is just, what can I say, really lucky, really unbelievable. And it's crazy how travel, my decision to kind of make the leap and pursue travel allowed me to just continue traveling. And so I was able to do so much. And of course, the highlight was flying from Berlin to the Philippines in business class on Air France KLM. And of course, uh, because of that, people started hearing about me, um, which then resulted in me being invited along for free to ride on the Trans-Siberian Express, but not just the regular Trans-Siberian, legendary Trans-Siberian Express going across Russia, but the Grand Trans-Siberian Express, which is the first class cruise on rails version of the Trans-Siberian, which took about 12 days going from Moscow, Russia, 
to uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. It was so long that starting from European time in Moscow, by the end of the trip in Mongolia, we were back in Philippine time, all traveling by land. And it was, what can I say, truly mind-blowing to have been part of that thanks to my camera, thanks to sharing uh, my experiences, and thanks to just saying yes to doing it. And so I'll show you a short excerpt of it uh, coming from Moscow, where I was even able to celebrate my birthday on the train. Just a sec. Let me optimize the settings for video. And here we go. Nicholas. Yeah, and that was the Grand Trans-Siberian Express. Uh, you know, re-watching that when I was preparing for this presentation, it just brought a tear to my eye. And not because I'm sad that I'm not there anymore, but just so special. Um, and to be able to record that moment uh, is just, can I say, golden moment talaga. Um, yeah, so that in the same year, that somehow opened the opportunity for me to uh, apply to a two-month artist residency in Iceland, which is every bit as amazing as, as they say it is. So these are just some of the things I saw starting, starting in the autumn with all of the rainbows, seeing the Aurora Borealis, which is probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Uh, definitely put that on your list if you haven't seen it after the pandemic it's like watching god play a symphony in the sky and then when it comes to winter just all these surreal landscapes uh it was really special i was there for two months and again i want to share another excerpt from one of my videos this is a time-lapse video i did in iceland where you can see just so much of the amazing sky and nature
And that was Iceland, which crazily led to another opportunity to apply to another artist residency the following year in Italy. And this was one month living in this beautiful medieval town on the top of a hill. And you also won't believe how cheap it was living there for one month. It was something like, I forget, six or 800 euro. And we were just there to create art and eat lots of great Italian food. Now, before I wrap up, what I want to say is, admittedly, um, it's hard to replicate exactly what I did. You know, I'm single and I had a lot of time, especially then. But what I want to invite you to really think about is within your situation, what are the ways you can at least go to these places and have a similar experience? Because again, it's all about moments. You don't have to spend one month to have one beautiful moment that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. And I guess it's all about well, we'll talk about that in the next slide. Which is, I guess, some final takeaways to share with all the concepts I've discussed and the experiences I've shared with you that I hope um, really light a fire, at least open your mind, re-inspire you to plan for travel again when we can do it. So golden moments take luck, but they don't happen by accident. They, they are the result of purposefully purposefully making the effort to make your dreams a reality in whatever form you can. And if we lead with an attitude of possibility, that's how amazing things can happen. It may not be exactly what you expected, but in my experience, things are almost always better than I expect, especially if I come in with the right mindset. And luxury, again, what is luxury? It's being fully present, whether by yourself or with the people you love and immersed in your experiences. It's wanting to be where you are, whether you live in a beautiful home, in a beautiful place, with a harmonious family, whether you're going on the most epic adventure. Uh, it's you create your golden moments. You create your special experiences. You create, you open the door to your luxury. And of course, when it comes to capturing these moments, these days, sharing your story well, especially through photography and video, even writing, is a gift of nostalgia to yourself that you can go back to when the days get dark as they tend to get these days, and a gift of inspiration to others. So on that note, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you for listening. I hope you got something positive out of my talk today. And yeah, I would love to hear from you. Let's stay in touch. Facebook and YouTube, I'm Aaron Palabiab Studio. Instagram at Aaron Palabiab. www.aaronpalabiab.com has my portfolio. And you can also email me through the contact form on that website. If you have any questions, if you have any follow-ups, if you want to find out about any of the experiences I shared, any kind of follow-up, um, please do send me a message, leave me a comment. and. Yeah, well, thank you very much for listening. All right. Thank you so much for that golden presentation, Mr. Palabiab. Truly, we have learned a lot, and it feels like we've been brought to so many beautiful places. And indeed, listening to your presentation really made me miss traveling and at the same time excited for the future opportunities to come. I feel the same, Crystal. So even though we are still in the middle of a pandemic, we should not let this dampen our desire to see and be curious about the world and experience our personal golden moments. That's right. And speaking of curiosity, I know a lot of you have something you want to ask our dear guest speaker. So now we give the floor again to Mr. Aaron Palabiab for those of you who have questions.
Okay, so for our first question, we have here, what are some of your dream travel destinations and which places in the world would you recommend visiting after the pandemic? Okay, so let's start with my recommendations and let's talk about uh, my dream destinations. Um, honestly, top of mind would be Iceland. You cannot, doesn't matter where you, whether you visit in the summer where the day lasts for 24 hours or in the fall where you can see the aurora, aurora or in the winter where it's just like this white wonderland. It's truly one of the most amazing places in the world. Uh, so I would highly recommend um, that. And also I would highly recommend discovering really our local hidden gems. The, the Cordilleras hold a special place in my heart, the big mountains. It's so beautiful, so much culture and even so much food. So that's what I would recommend off the top of my head. For my dream destinations, uh, <laughs> I go everywhere. I still um, definitely the Nordic countries, uh, Norway, that's really high on my list. Um, New Zealand, very high on my list. And I want to ride my motorcycle around Europe. I want to go to Argentina. Uh, too many places, but those are the ones that I remember off the top of my head. Okay, all right. Next, uh, we have another question. Next is, what are the most challenging aspects in planning a vacation this pandemic aside from the many health protocols? That is the question. It's definitely the health protocols that are the most challenging. Uh, they're always changing. Uh, there's so many requirements, so much additional expense. So, I mean, let's get that out of the way. That is definitely the most challenging part. But once you get past that, and of course the uncertainty, once you actually get there, um, like you don't know who's safe, who's not. So once we get past that, I would say the most challenging part is really finding, finding where to go where you can have that experience you want. You really have to do more research now because the popular places, due to their popularity, are closed. So you have to find places that perhaps people haven't heard of. You have to all, almost blaze your own trail so you can go places that are both beautiful and uncrowded. And from there, it's just figuring out the logistics. Um, because I did have an experience of going to, say, Catanduanes for work late last year. And it was super, super stressful, like not knowing whether you could get on the ferry or all of that stuff. So really, um, if you're willing to put up kind of with the uncertainty in terms of the logistics, if you're able to research really places you can go, then there, then you're, you're kind of uh, home free. Okay, next is we have a question from JC. Uh, it's a Tagalog question. So, sinong artista ang gusto mong gumanap bilang ikaw kung gagawing pelikula ang buhay mo? Ha and hi, then, ano, hi, JC, kung, uh, kung sino ka man. Um, <laughs> yung Kalbo Days ko, gusto ko sana si, ano, si Derek Ramsey. Yung, ano, medyo long hair days, kung papayag si, ano, si Kuya Drew Arellano, ano naman, I think that would be very nice. Okay, and for the last question we have here, traveling during the pandemic is different in terms of the amount of tourists going on vacation. How is the travel experience now that tourist spots are almost exclusive to only a few? That is a great question to bring up. And you actually bring up the best part about traveling during the pandemic. There are these places that used to be so crowded, you have a chance to have them all to yourself in the middle of the summer, which was our experience in Boracay right before the last MECQ. Um, so in that sense, that's a really great question because that is the opportunity presented to travelers now. Once travel is local travel is open again, of course, many people will still be rightly nervous about traveling, but if you're able to travel, especially if you're fully vaccinated, you can have kind of the dream experience of almost like you're there on a weekday or off-peak season. And 
yeah, so you really do have a more luxurious experience overall in places like Boracay. And if you're able to experience that, I highly recommend it. And it's a huge, huge help to the locals too. Okay, all right. So do we have any more questions for Mr. Aaron to answer? Just type in your questions in the chat box below, guys. All right, I think we covered all the questions. Thank you for all your questions, dear guests, and thank you as well to our guest speaker for enlightening us with your answers. And as a token of gratitude and appreciation, we would like to give this certificate to Mr. Aaron Palabiab, for sharing his valuable knowledge about designing and capturing golden moments during Britain's campaign launch with the theme, The Golden Moment. This certificate is awarded on the 4th of September, 2021, signed by Mr. Joshua Ray Kabungan, Britain's sales and marketing head, and Mr. John Christopher Gonzalez, our Britain's corporate communication head. With that, may we request a short photo off with Mr. Aaron Palabiab to capture this new golden moment with Brittany. Okay. One moment. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so... After learning from that presentation, we'll surely know now how and when to capture golden moments. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes, it really evoked our interest in not just savoring the charm and beauty of the world, but to collect memories of it. Since we're already more into the capturing beauty this time around, why don't we explore the idea of having Brittany moments? Well, that's exactly what we're tackling next. Aligned to the theme discussed by our distinguished guests, we all know that Brittany Corporation has recently launched its newest campaign inspired by the Golden Hour as Brittany appears to maintain the golden standard. And as we avail this campaign, let us all watch this video and have a quick glance of what it's like to live in your luxury. The affluent are natural daydreamers and wanderers who seek beautiful destinations where they can indulge in luxurious experiences. And Brittany, as one of the leading developers in the country, prides its communities of being in the prime and progressive locations anchored in the integrated master plan developments and enduring the world's most scenic beauty. In line with this, may we call on Mr. JC Gonzalez to talk about Brittany Corporation's newest campaign, Live in Your Luxury. Sir JC. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone's safe and healthy. Thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure to present to you Brittany Corporation's newest digital campaign, live in your luxury. Let me share with you the context and essence of this campaign. We all know that we are still in the middle of the pandemic that renders the world on a standstill. There's weak business performance, 
restricted travel and disrupted leisure, and record-breaking anxiety and worry. But here at BRIT, we don't stop chasing for the highest forms of beauty and experiencing rich experiences that make life worth living. We cater to those who desire to live life in a home that could accommodate today's evolving needs. We provide safer grounds with a refreshing ambience to escape the threat of the deadly virus and to enjoy a less restricting environment. Indeed, Brittany is for natural daydreamers and wanderers who seek beautiful destinations to indulge in luxurious experiences. Brittany comes in to provide what are rare moments and are beautifully curated experiences as a matter of daily encounters the moment you awaken. The moment you step out of your doorstep in our exclusive developments inspired by the world's most scenic destinations. As what our guest speaker Aaron mentioned earlier, luxury is about having the time and having the option to just enjoy the moment and live the golden moments. So what does Brittany have that makes it the epitome for luxury residential developments. First, prime and progressive locations anchored in integrated and master plan developments. This makes it rewarding investments that grow in value. Exceptional and enduring beauty inspired by the world's most scenic destinations. Sprawling and curated open spaces for sustainable living. High level security for peace of mind. So what is luxury living feels like? So what does it, how does it feel to live in luxury, uh, in Brittany's luxury residential developments? The answer is in our campaign video. Let's all watch this. pursuit of enduring beauty where abundance and tranquility flow in the midst of nature's harmony unravels warmth comfort and bliss an awakening so sweet unbound by fleeting time the eyes can see wide and free all the resplendence embraced by lush greenery in awe of architectural wonders, splendidly born. Masterfully created, the exquisite details show. The winds blow, the breathtaking views beckon. A new beginning is welcoming, burgeoning with meaning. While well, this is a new world to those who imagine. The golden moments truly await those who choose to live in it. Welcome home to Brittany. Live your luxury. Sir JC and that campaign video really, video really showed and affirmed that our prime developments here in Brittany are exclusive communities in convenient locations that exude sophisticated artistry. And of course, you also have the safety and security as a few of the many reasons why living luxuriously in Brittany is not just perfect for your family, but also upholds a greater rate return of value. So thank you very much for that awe-inspiring and also insightful presentation, Sir JC Gonzalez. Indeed, Lee, the golden moment truly awaits those who choose to live in it, and we hope you do. And that concludes our webinar for this afternoon, the golden moment traveling and living in your luxury. This has been Trisha Grappaldeo, and I'd like to thank everyone for sharing this Brittany moment with us.
And this has been Crystal Masalungan. We hope this afternoon's webinar has inspired you to be hopeful for the future and discover your Brittany moments. And this has been Lian Gamez. Thank you so much, Mr. Aaron Palabial, for sharing your time and experiences with us. And thank you to all of you for spending your afternoon in this event. And always remember that you deserve to live in your luxury. Enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the week, everyone. When you think about beauty, you think about a person who embodies it, or a place that has an untouched and sometimes unreal attractiveness. Most of the time, beauty is defined as what is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Sometimes you think of beauty as a feeling evoked because of how a certain person, place, or situation treats you. As that famous adage goes, beauty is now being decided in the details. Features such as living room, garden, kitchen, bathrooms, and everything else in between should be attractive and aesthetically pleasing to the beholder. And the beholder in this case are the home buyer and the property investor. Luxury properties are now being deemed for their quality to become timeless, which is a concept that goes beyond their high-end amenities, impeccable design, or even five-star additions that you can see. Beauty, especially in luxury real estate, is now defined on how the property evokes a desire to live and flourish. That you not only call your future home a status symbol, but a sensible decision towards a high quality of living. Vistaland, one of the Philippines' leading integrated property developers and the largest home builder, has been at the forefront of building and realizing the Filipino dream of owning a residential property. Through Brittany, its luxury residential arm, premier theme developments serve up a feast for your senses, as it seeks to address the demand for such definitions of beautiful properties in the lap of luxury. From lush premium house and lot residential communities to high-end condominium enclaves, Brittany Corporation aims to offer the most sought-after bespoke lifestyle that allows an extravagant, effortless quality of life both indoors and outdoors. The world's finest destinations are right at your doorstep, and Brittany does not fail to surprise at what it can offer. From breathtaking themes ranging from classic Italy to charming San Francisco, from the feeling of being in cool Switzerland to the fun Caribbean, Brittany's promise of giving you the luxury home you deserve past the high. Guarded gates of the villages and extends deep within master plan communities that aim to give you a truly good time. It creates masterpieces of upscale living for sophisticated home buyers with a taste for artful living. What is luxury living all about? For one, it's not all price tags. While price is a significant factor, it's by no means the only one. There are a variety of factors at play when deciding what constitutes luxury living. Luxury properties are mainly defined by their uniqueness and exclusivity, which raise far more value than the cost of construction and materials alone. A prestigious location and address. The residence's proximity to another luxury home, to the community, and to famous storied parts of a city all contribute to value behind a luxury investment. This is the case for trophy addresses such as New York City's Park Avenue and Los Angeles Hollywood. Being a stone's throw away from the city's hottest go-to destinations, featuring high-end activities such as shopping districts, museums, fine dining, and the centers for art is essential. Beyond this, it counts when it satisfies the discerning crowd's taste for panoramic views of beautiful landscapes such as lakes, oceans, rivers, mountainsides, and countryside views. Meticulous architecture. A house is a significant investment, not just financially, but also emotionally. A home is a sanctuary, a personal anchor, and a statement. If a home is a reflection of those who live in it, then architecture is the mirror that holds up this image. Here at Brittany, we place prime value on architecture as our way of bringing out the beauty of a space. From the roof to the window 
windowsills and doorknobs. Every aspect of Brittany creation is drafted with utmost passion and skill, all to give true beauty to those that may live in distinctiveness. Luxury properties aren't just pleasant to look at, they're also works of art, capable of steering emotion from anyone who beholds and experiences it. This form of expression and the expertise involved naturally form something beautiful, something that we all want to keep for a lifetime. Because of this, homes that make a unique or aesthetically pleasing statement will always be valued at much higher than those with cookie cutter cuts. Structurally and functionally sound, Outstanding design maximizes the space and have every bit of the property serve its purpose unhindered. The shape of a house serves the everyday needs of the dwellers, while the building materials are chosen for their specific properties. The properties of those building materials, in turn, must influence and work together with the specific purpose of the house, resulting in a stronger and more functional home. Safety and security. Indeed, nothing beats sound sleep endowed by peace of mind. Having CCTV and electric fences installed in a gated community safeguarded by roaming patrols is top priority in quiet and peaceful neighborhoods. Sustainability. Sustainability also sets luxury developments apart from the rest of the pack as it equates to delivering enduring value. To be sustainable means to be occupied both now and for the foreseeable future, delivering an acceptable return to the investors. As such, private enclaves equipped with garbage disposal, materials recovery, and other sustainable systems ensure the preservation of their well-manicured properties and the lush surroundings, including the flora and fauna it also supports. Looking for the best spots for luxury living here in the Philippines? Check out these highly coveted luxury-themed developments. Portofino. Portofino at Vista Alabang offers Italian-inspired luxury homes that give off an old-world charm. Offering stunning luxury homes in the South, Portofino offers an elegant and unparalleled experience that is inspired by the chic style of cosmopolitan Italy. Its classic architectural feats and beautiful amenities have become Brittany's signature for its luxury developments in Vista Alabama. La Posada La Posada in Lake Fransucat offers luxury homes that are a fusion of Victorian opulence and a modern-day sophistication that beckons people of refined tastes. It becomes one's everyday escape, surrounded by the luxury of enjoying the peace and serenity in a charming San Franciscan atmosphere. Brittany Santa Rosa Owning a luxury home in Brittany Santa Rosa, Laguna brings to mind the classic old-world lifestyle in luxurious dwellings amidst a nature reserve. Surrounded by the top golf courses in the country, Canlubang Golf and Country Club, the Santa Elena Golf Club, and the Country Club. Its signature developments are reminiscent of charming country abodes in Southern American style and is offered in the beautiful and exclusive communities of Georgia Club in Augusta. While the promenade embodies the elegant aesthetic in the Old English theme, Crosswinds is the premier destination for travel, leisure, and luxury living in the country's second summer capital of the Gaitai City. It is an exclusive high-end development, and evidently so, its luxury homes are founded deep in the mountains, amidst over 35,000 lush pine trees overlooking gorgeous views. It occupies 100 hectares of prime real estate offering your slice of mountain paradise, well within reach of modern living's conveniences. With these luxurious themed developments, pioneering Brittany's tradition of being the premier name for high-end properties, homeowners enjoy the experience of luxury living in their dream home set in the most stunning settings. Rich in character and sophisticated in their thematic appeal, inspired by the world's most scenic destinations, Brittany's luxury communities bring these beautiful places closer to the homes of the privileged few.